Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. Bent and today we are going through another Photopea tutorial. Today we're going to be going through how to use the blur tool. We talk about a couple different variations on how we can get this effect. But as you can see, we've got this image of Batman from our new The Batman series in 2022. So we're going to be using this image to basically blur out everything other than Batman. So we're going to be blurring out Catwoman in this but we are just going to be focusing on Batman. So that way we can get the effect as we're focusing on one item, one person. You can do this to add another person. If you want to do that, you're totally welcome to. I'm just going to be showing you that effect throughout using Batman as our center focus. So to begin, I've dropped my image in here. If you want access to this image, it will be down in our description below. There are two options for how we want to start this once we begin making some duplicates. So what we want to do is we want to create two extra layers of our background. So we're going to call, we're going to have three layers in total and we're going to turn off our background layer and we're going to lock it. So that way we can't mess up. This is our original layer. We're not going to mess around with it. We're just going to call it OG. So our original background that is there, that is our original layout. And we're not going to <clears throat> manipulate that. We're not going to alter that. That's not the layer we're doing stuff with. We're going to name one of our layers blur. And we're going to call the other one Batman because we are doing Batman on that one. So to begin this, uh, we'll switch these layers because Batman needs to be on top because he's our top layer for right now. We are going to go and we are going to select the pen tool. So there's two options for how you can do this. You can use the magnetic lasso or you can use the pen. I'll talk about both of them. I'm going to use the magnetic lasso when I go through this, but you are welcome to use the pen. There's tons of different ways that you can kind of go about this. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to go and we're going to look at the bottom of Batman for this moment. So with us looking at the bottom of Batman, we're going to select the pen tool and it'll probably be defaulted to shape. We're going to adjust that and we're going to change that to path and we are going to go to subtract. Those are going to be options that we want to have because we're basically going to be subtracting everything on the outside of Batman eventually because we want to end up having a layer that is solely Batman. So to do that, you're just going to click on some points and you're going to go about and you're going to go all the way around Batman and you're going to get as close as you can. It's okay if you're not perfect, but you want to do your best to be as close as possible. You can click pretty close to these. And if you need to zoom in so you can see detail better, you are more than welcome to do that. And then you're just going to select all the way around Batman. So I'm going to save some time and I'm going to show you the magnetic lasso tool, which is just up here. It will probably say rectangle select for you. And you're going to right click it and go to the magnetic lasso. With that selected, you are going to select the unite option, which is the one that has the two filled in circles. And you are just going to kind of drag it along. You'll see, I am not doing any of this stuff. It is basically tracing itself. You might need to adjust some stuff eventually, but we're going to go up and I'm still going to click every now and again. So that way it doesn't jump or do anything funky. This might not be perfect. And, but just know that if you've gotten an anchor point, it's kind of hard to jump back, but we can fix that in a moment. Again, this gets really close. It might look a little jagged, but when we're done and we're done doing our effects, you won't be able to tell that this really looks jagged. So nothing to worry about. We're just going to select all these things. Bam. Now this isn't perfect. So as you can see, it's sometimes jumping inside the cape, but again, we can adjust that and we can fix those things a little bit later. Oh, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. If it's forcing you to jump into spots you don't want, just click somewhere so that way it can go away and you can force it to be in another location. And we're just going to go all the way down and then we're going to drag it across and click. So with our Batman selected, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. If you need to make any sort of adjustments, you might have to go back over and just include them in. So I can see that I've missed a little bit of that bit on his belt and you're just going to go in and you're just going to select those bits and just kind of create a new outline around there. Awesome. So we have our outline of Batman. If you use your pen tool to get here, awesome. Just the same way. We've just got two different ways to get there. Now you can alter the feathering. This will end up blurring a little bit of the edges to make them blend a little bit better. 
I'm not going to do that for our tutorial, but that is an option depending on what you need for your portrait for whatever it is that you are making. So we can do this now one of two ways. We can create a raster mask, which will then just cut out Batman, or we can do control C, control V, which will copy that selection that we had. And now we've created a new layer, which is just the exact same. It will all work the same way. So if you've got some funky areas on your image that maybe don't look the best and you want to clean them up, for example, this super sharp bat chin, we're going to grab our eraser tool. We're going to drop the size down and we're just going to erase it. Kind of soften up some of those things. If we don't really like how they look, if we fall along the outside and we can see there's some weird sharp points, clean that up, make it a little bit more beautiful. And with that, we're going to zoom back out. So depending on which way you've done this, if you've created a new layer or if you've created your raster mask, the rest will be very similar. So if you've created that, that extra layer of Batman, just like I did, and you didn't raster mask it, that's totally cool. You'll be able to create the same result. I'm going to be walking through it that way. It is all the same steps, but you won't need that other layer. You can just turn that one off. So you should have your layer one as Batman and your regular uh, one that we had as Batman layer. We can just rename that blur or leave it wherever we have it. That's also totally cool. So we're going to select that uh, layer one and we are going to use the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool will select everything around Batman and then we are going to right click and we are going to go inverse. That means we are now selecting Batman again. We are going to select our layer that is has the background and has everything because if we just use the blur effect it will kind of blur out batman and it'll make it seem like he's got a weird aura around him and it's not going to look very good so with batman selected we are going to right click and we are going to convert this to a smart object this will allow us to manipulate the layer as as we need it then we are going to go and we are going to go to edit we're going to go to fill and once you've selected fill, we can select foreground, we can select a bunch of things, but we are going to go to content aware. Content aware will be very similar to what the spot healing brush is. So it's going to basically fill in that space with the pixels it thinks needs to be there. And oh, it needs to be rasterized as well. So we are gonna right click and go rasterize, edit, fill, make sure that we're on content aware, click okay. Now this may take a moment if you're on a Chromebook or something like that, this couldn't take a while. So just keep that in mind. It might take a moment or two to end up actually filling in that space. And you can see it's not perfect and that's totally okay. It's not intended to be perfect. It's just taken away a lot of those sharp edges. So that way when it blurs out, it's not going to give us an extra outline of Batman because that'll be a little bit weird and it's not going to look super good. So now with our layer, we are going to go to our filter. We are going to go to blur. And there's a couple you can use. You can use the Gaussian. That is a normal blur that most people end up using, but we're going to use the lens blur for this just because I think it can give us a few more options. I'm going to turn this layer on so we can see our Batman filter blur lens blur. We're going to drag this to the side. Now, as you can see, Batman is our sole focus. You can mess around with some of these settings. Some of the settings don't appear to do too much when you're starting to mess around with some of them. You can adjust with the shapes and you can see that's changing the style of the blur and how that blur looks. So this is up to you in terms of what you think looks best. I'm going to go with triangle for mine because I think that looks better in this moment. And I'm going to mess around with some of these blurs and just kind of blur things out a little bit more. Now you don't want to have it look like an absolute mess unless that is your goal. So this could be for a certain style and that's totally okay. But for me, that's not the style that I'm going for. So I'm just gonna blur out everything a little bit more. That way you can really focus and have Batman really grab your attention. Now, if you wanted to, you can add a little bit of noise. So we'll click or turn on monochromatic. And by selecting noise, we create a little bit of static, almost like a static TV on that screen. Now you can add a whole bunch, but we're just gonna add a little bit just to add a little bit more of a grainy effect in the background i think that matches batman very well and it actually makes him stand out a little bit more which is even cooler with that with your selections 
done and happy, you're going to click OK. So as I mentioned earlier, if you end up not selecting uh, or not replacing Batman with that uh, select option for your content aware, you will end up with like a glowy area around him and it doesn't really look very great. As you can see, if we're looking at Catwoman, she kind of starts to blur out. She kind of almost grows. You can see her hairline. If you're watching that hairline, you can see that it kind of grows out. It will do the same thing around Batman and it's going to look a little bit weird. So you want to make sure that you've removed that and we've done that content aware replacement to prevent that from happening. Now with that, that is all you need to do to create this blur effect. You can do this in many ways. You could have just selected the background. You could have just selected certain things to blur out. But this is ultimately how you use the blur tool and how you can utilize it. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something. As always, have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.